So thank you for the movie. It was really entertaining. Sure, and I you're liked the, for the, movie. <laughs> the message and everything. Good. So the the underwater scenes looked very impressive. Can you tell us something about the shooting process? The shooting process involved a lot of wires and a lot of uh, different sort of harnesses and. Um, you know, this was, uh, forgive the pun, uncharted territory for us, so uh, really for any movie we have. So you, uh, it was a lot of blue screen, um, and uh, we called it dry for wet, where, where we needed to look like we were underwater and act like we were swimming underwater, but of course we weren't. So um, it, was a, it was a process, because we had to see what looked good quickly. We didn't have a lot of time. It's not like we spent months doing a camera test. It was, we sort of showed up and... And, uh, you know, if it didn't look good, you swimming around, we've probably found a way to stand still. So it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a big learning curve for all of us. And there was no shooting underwater at all? Very, no, yeah, uh, no. I mean, there's a lot of shooting in water coming out of the water, those fights in the water when you're sort of on the surface, um, fights in the sub. But, uh, yeah, when you're underwater, there was no, we were, we were never underwater shooting. Because, of course, we can't breathe underwater. No, can't little, you? Little trivia for you, <laughs> scientists out there. Yeah. And the movie is very entertaining, but it has a message, a serious message to it, it which is mainly transported through your character. Can you tell us something about Orm's um, motivation? Sure. Yeah. One of the, th I mean, I think the overall theme of the movie, I think, is is certainly with Aquaman's journey about belonging, belonging to both worlds, what it means. Uh, to, to really unite these two worlds and how what kind of awareness we should have for other people and for for uh, maybe foreigners and people who don't belong that's something that I, that's really Aquaman's journey my journey Orm's journey throughout the movie or his cause uh, even in a villainous way is is to uh, avenge the destruction of uh, of the oceans which is where he lives and so you understand pretty early on his plight which is uh, his frustration with the surface destroying his oceans for centuries between oil and plastic and everything else. So it's, I think, you'd, you, you'd be the villain, I think, if you didn't understand that. You know, I think it's a very, and that's something that's always been in the comics. I think Aquaman has always had, um, it's usually Aquaman that's doing the saving of you know, fishermen or whaling or fighting that, you know, it's, it's, he's a pretty eco-conscious superhero anyway and I think I found it I was telling this to James you know our director last night that I, I really do find it interesting that tackling pollution was in the comic given to the villain because it's almost like you can you can let out the violence a little a little more the frustration you know I, if it were Aquaman's storyline of of taking care of pollution he would do it in a much more noble way and then Orm just wants to get even really can you tell us something about the sibling rivalry going on between the two? Sure. Well, you you know, in, in the in the comic, and certainly when we're talking about the new 52, which is when they rebooted the 52 DC characters, they um, they changed Orm's storyline and made him the purebred Atlantean, and Arthur is the half-breed Atlantean, half surf, half human, we'll say, or half surface dweller and half Atlantean. So they have they share the same mother. Um, and you find out that Orm's father was really the king, and so she was betrothed to him. Uh, so, uh, you know, and then her relationship to Timur Morrison in the film is really the love of her life. So you have these two half-brothers that have never met, and I think Orm has always wanted to meet his brother, but been terrified of that, knowing that he was older and really the firstborn, even though he's a firstborn Half-breed son, he is a firstborn. So he, I think he knew the day was coming. Thank you so yep, much. No problem. Nice to meet you.